<laughs> I'm just a poor boy. I'm a victim of my older girlfriend. She takes advantage of me. Like we said, though, I'm a child on the inside, which makes you a pedophile. It's a That's... joke I can't make work on stage, but boy, do I want it to. You're in cahoots with Corey and Carmen. In cahoots. Just turn the lights off and tell scary stories by the candle. Do it. <laughs> by the candle. By the candle. By the coffee and whiskey candle. Yeah. It smells so nice. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. You got it for me. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gifts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your love language. No. Receiving gifts. No, no. Receiving gifts is your love language on the way out, and then on the way out, you're on the way in. It's receiving gifts. What do you mean on the way out? It's receiving gifts no matter what. Did we start? No. What is? (laughs) Yes, we did. (laughs) What is? What do you mean on the way out versus the way in? And your other love language is other people suffering. Yeah, that is true. (laughs) A little bit of Schadenfreude never hurt anyone. (laughs) <laughs> there's a line somewhere between schadenfreude and just being a plain sadist <laughs> but, uh, that's fun no i don't really i don't know i was completely joking. i know but it is like a weird thing trying to figure out someone else's love language yeah i didn't know yours until recently i what thought is yours it? was the same as mine <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time it was something completely different that i'm oh really really bad god. at oh my god mm-hmm. well yeah, it's, it's I don't even know the name the end, of it. Beginning end, folks. You what's heard it, it here first. What's it called? Anticipating needs. What's the name of it? Well, G- doing tasks. So <laughs> Casey salengo has got the best bit about yeah, it. Yeah, it's where so he funny. says it's acts of service. Acts of the, service. The name of it. But you don't even like, <laughs> like the examples online are like do their laundry and stuff. Like you don't want me to do that stuff for you. That's not it. It's like some other secret level that i have to like figure out yeah it's a puzzle yeah it is i'm the, I'm the puppet master from saw oh my <laughs> god to figure out how to please me <sighs> i'm just gonna cut a key out of your stomach and hope oh for my the best. god out of my stomach mm-hmm. the key's in your stomach no. it's in your vagina i would put a key in my vagina <laughs> you would <laughs> <laughs> all right your anniversary present is up here <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't even say I don't know it's like it, it the main one's definitely quality time but it's, I thought you said it was acts of service was your main one and then quality time well it's like I appreciate when people do things for me mm-hmm. that is like legitimately like helping me out because mm-hmm. I run very high you stress do. I'm always doing stuff I and thought, so I, thought, I forgot about that in the context of like comedy because you like you're big on if somebody does something for you you're like so immediately oh, yeah. loyal to them someone books me on a show I'm yeah. like yeah of course I'm giving them a spot like yeah. that's so it's not even it's not like do your laundry but it's just like the the thing that's the most attractive to me is like knowing that the person went out of their way to help me like they Mm -hmm. took their time that's Mm -hmm. what i appreciate the most so it has to inconvenience them personally and be (laughs) (laughs) i want your life to be as difficult as possible (laughs) serving me um no it's because i run super like i'm always doing something Uh and so when i start to fall behind on stuff Mm -hmm. is when i start to like spin out Mm. so the stuff that i appreciate the most is one not adding to my (laughs) stress which you're very good at you don't you don't add a lot of stress to me i'm just kind of here like you're just chilling yeah (laughs) yeah i know show up yeah you are i'm like a high house cat i think that's why two uh type a people don't get along Mm. very well long term it does work for some people those like Mm -hmm. power couple fucking bill and hillary clinton type Mm. motherfuckers Mm -hmm. um but yeah, it's the two type two type A because I think both type A people run run hot, mm-hmm. if you will. And then as soon as one of them needs something else from the other one, which is all the time, it will be like a burden on the other person. Where like you're just chilling. Yeah. You've like I, I could call you and be like, hey, out. can you pick up Parmesan cheese? You're like, yeah. 
Who would not be able to pick up Parmesan cheese? You would be surprised. Really? People are like, well, I'd have to go out of my way and I'd have to walk another block. And it's like, <laughs> there are some people out there. I'm not going to name names. Like <laughs> any sort of inconvenience is just the fucking end of the world for them. <laughs> now me, I'll go on a quest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you love a quest. Almost as you like get almost as much as you like getting beat at basketball. Oh, your boy fucking schooled her recently. This last weekend actually. You see the hate in her eyes. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. Look into her deep, <laughs> hateful eyes. Still mad. Oh yeah. Can I is this the closest you've been to breaking up with me? I, I, <laughs> you making that three in my face, I <laughs> strongly consider just being like, it's over and walking off the court and just leaving the gym. <laughs> <laughs> just calling somebody else off the floor. You're in now. I got to go. <laughs> you just never see. I, I drop your keys on the floor. And also then... had to stop playing because I was laughing too hard. <laughs> so I knew, I knew you were salty. I didn't know you were leave the gym salty. Oh. I'm too competitive. I don't know why versus you. I just got so fucking mad. So mad. It was pretty embarrassing. You got one on me. Like, you got a basket on me. It was a nice move. You beat me. Did I get a shot? Yeah. I made one? Yeah. I think I missed everything in that game. You missed a couple, Uh huh. but so did I. Uh huh. And neither one of us was playing well. We were at a fucking beer garden eating sausage until at least, well, <laughs> 11 p.m. for me, and then you left and did more work. So I was not... Mm -hmm feeling my top self all game but you got one on me you just conveniently forgot that you beat me that once because that that three in your face really hurt i'm so still, bad yeah it still replays in my mind and at night and when i wake up in the mornings oh man <laughs> all right that was we, we never play each other in this league game it's no. all comics yep are mostly comics we're like we're there every week or every other week it's just like sunday yeah. it is competitive yeah. But everyone's like in their 30s. Yeah. I'm the youngest person by probably a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, which like they play old man basketball, mm -hmm. but they still have a little bit of energy. Mm -hmm. Right? We so, still run. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. Every Some of those games are... Ugh. I'm like, I'm in shape and I'm not... Because it's like a 25 minute straight sometimes. Ours, yeah. was, ours was probably... Yeah. The one it I played was, like was at least minutes. 25 minutes yeah. straight. Yeah. No, it can get... Well, it definitely gets competitive. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's hard fouls. There's a couple people, not going to name names, but uh, real bitches about it. Oh, uh, I, not, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, it drives me nuts, especially when it's a little guy who's just like, I'm just going to hit him in the arm as hard as possible. It's like, get <laughs> fucked. I a leap you. on your back. That, that does happen. I did have... Uh, in this last game, the dude like pushed off both my shoulders to get more air, and I called a foul. And people were like, "Well, it's a foul." I was like, "He used me as a goddamn springboard. Like, what? It's <laughs> a foul. You can't." I'm like, "I'm not gonna call everything, but like, <laughs> you're gonna push me like I'm underwater, and you're bullying me in middle school." Then yeah, that's a foul. I'm that's my <laughs> rebound. I also noticed nobody called a foul after I made a declaration that calling fouls made you a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end yeah. Anyway. Well, you being the only woman, it's really tough for the woman to be like, "Yeah, what's up, you pussies? You calling fouls? I don't call fouls." The rest of us like, "I guess we're not playing with fouls." Mom decreed it. It's, uh, I'm all pissed off. That I it was. I do have to ask. Uh, mm -hmm. Your elbow ended up in my groin at one point. Was that on in your purpose? Groin? Yeah. You you put an elbow into my into that was my not fupa. on purpose. No, okay. I need that to be to, to be <laughs> uninjured. I would, that would be a conflict of interest if I elbowed you. Oh, in your junk. I, well, you saw you were seeing red out there. Yeah, and I think, I do get a little. Uh, my elbows are sharp. I yes, will say they that. are. Oh, I'm I'm aware. And I swing them. You missed. I know. <laughs> You missed. You hit me right in the fupa. And I was like, there's no way she did that on purpose. But then the longer we, I thought about it, and then I got home, because you left before I did. So you got home, and immediately you were like, I almost broke up with you at that game. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, we came off the court, and I was like, the only reason you guys won is because I was missing those shots. You're like, do you want to get wings? You were in such a cheerful... Sometimes you don't read that I'm in like these... 
like dark places oh, I know. and it's good it's uh-huh. so good i know you're there i just okay. ignore it because it's a silly place it's the best place that's really good idea for you to ignore it <laughs> keep ignoring it because it, what are you gonna it do? takes Break me out up of it. with me <laughs> because because i was nice to you while you were in a bad mood <laughs> all right that's another level that the zoloft can't clear yet um oh zoloft update well, I'm not done talking about the game. I am. I'm not. This Fine. is great. Um, we only I'm won by like two. Than you at basketball, mm-hmm. and that was a tough. You had to play harder because you couldn't be seen as a little bitch in okay. front of the boys. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you need to tell them. I will guard you again. No, I'm okay. good at guarding you. Let's do it. People aren't getting you the ball very much, even though they could just launch it and then you could yeah, body it. But I think there's there was a little bit of like, well, we can't just give it to him on the block every time. Why not? My, also, I my, my hand was in your way. What do you mean? There were a lot of times when I was in the pass zone. With that is they true. Getting it. Yeah. They need to throw it up. Everyone yeah. wants to go low with those. Yeah. I was like, I have my my arms half are half of, your size. I have half a foot on her, and then like another four inches of arm. Yeah, like if I'm and dribbling so and you're ten feet away, you can still like swat it. It's very frustrating. Yeah, oh, I love it. I love then, it. Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at baiting people into throwing those full court passes too, because they don't think I can get there on time, and they your they're arms right. Are so I can't, long. but my arms are yeah, very your arms long. Can. You're like go go gadget. Yeah. Your limbs. <laughs> It's great. No, I have to say the my favorite part about the the basketball game, after hitting the three in your face, it was a beautiful shot. It was probably the best shot I've shot since college. And it was, my hand was in your face. It was in my face. It was like borderline illegal how hard you were face guarding me. <laughs> borderline and, shit. I was nowhere near. <laughs> I didn't touch you. I was just like, there's no way he's no, getting a good shot off my hand. My, eye, my quarter, fingers are in his eyeball. I know. You're like, you're a quarter inch from your fingers being in my eyeball. Uh-huh. And it was perfect. Just like a catch and shoot. It felt like nothing coming off my fingers. It was one of those just like, oh my god, that feels good. And it went straight through the net to the point where the net kicked up and then got caught on the rim i can feel you making like planning on making these into reels (laughs) and putting them online just so you can put your little fucking and then i in the perfect you think me bragging about this is gonna go on reels this is the most pathetic thing i've ever done it's like (laughs) rubbing it in my girlfriend's face i beat her at basketball i'm six inches taller than you i should beat you at basketball your team beat me at basketball and you shouldn't beat me at basketball i'm very good we've played one on one before that was one of the first things we did together with a flat Mm -hmm. basketball and we tied and it was only because you made me keep playing until i was wearing beach shoes (laughs) so So, was i um no you were in tennis shoes Uh uh-uh Mm. anyway the next time we came back down i could tell carmen was hopping mad (laughs) and i almost said to her you know that net's just like that so you're reminded how good my shot was (laughs) you should have talked trash that would have taken me out you would have dumped me (laughs) immediately you talked a little bit of trash i did yeah you when you are playing badly you're very mean to yourself (laughs) yeah and on the way down you muttered to yourself fuck me in my whole ass (laughs) and i heard it and i was like yeah later if you want (laughs) i don't know if anyone else heard you mumble i think all of them hear everything we say and they politely (laughs) say nothing I would have left if if someone That's else true. was playing with his girlfriend and she was like, fuck me in my whole ass. And he goes, yeah, later if you want. That's, That's pretty true. good. I would have lost it. <laughs> Nobody. They might, maybe they don't hear us. I don't know. Ugh. It is. Yeah. I was muttering off they the court too. And they were like, what was that? And I was like, nothing. Don't worry about you it. You could tell how focused they are because it's a league full of comedians and you get like dirty looks if you're making jokes on the court like you can't do it everyone this is serious time a little bit i don't know tommy mack has fun with it and we all love that okay yeah well you you were telling me one time like i think it's got to do something with with comics like that game is their outlet yeah and they play like once a month yeah and they're like getting the competitive juices yeah because in comedy, it's so frustrating, but you have to be so nice to everybody all yep. the time. Yep. And they're just like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Especially one guy in particular who I will fist fight if it comes to it. <laughs> I'm dying to see that. Ugh, me yeah. too. We do bring our anger issues. Me and him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk trash, though. You talk trash to yourself. A little. I know I'm very quiet when I do, too. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I, I catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the ear tuned for it. I'm waiting for the Carmen mumbles. <laughs> Something happened. I had a turnover and I like made eye contact with you off the court and I was just like fucking seething. <laughs> I know. I remember that. I had another one where I somehow gave I it away it. and then I the really guy should have just waved. And I was just like, I'm not getting that. I'm not. I was like, I'm not doing this. I think this was, I'm not doing this. And he went down for a layup and he missed it. So I could have done something about it. Fucking stupid. <laughs> a little miss bad attitude missing the transition layups. <laughs> Real tough. I didn't well, miss the transition layup. I, well, I thought that's what you just said. No, no, no. I, I, somebody stole it from me and made a layup. Oh, and I said I'm not going. Transition rebound. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, Something the first time we that. played together is when you knew I that I could handle your your competitiveness. Oh yeah. Have we not said that on here? No. The, no, great, no, the greatest line story. ever. Yeah. Because yeah, I do need to calm down when I play. <laughs> I've been talked to about it in high school. I had to have my coach had to give me a whole speech. Oh my god. And it worked, but it's back. So I need that speech again. What about, was that having about, about having a shitty little attitude. You do have a shitty little I attitude. I know. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> that first time, I thought you were like legitimately going to like start tearing up. You were so yeah. mad. This is the first game you played in like two months. No, for a long, longer, way longer than that. Oh, okay. I was so rusty and I just, so I, hate rusty. Being, I hate being rusty. Yeah. I'm bad. I've never played organized since like middle school. Mm -hmm. So when I'm bad, I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like overall, wow, I should be better than this. Because I shouldn't. Mm. Like I'm tall. That's my advantage. Oh. That's it. Well, I feel like I should be playing you, at the highest level. Exactly. That's You're like comparing yourself to the high school days of like borderline college basketball player. I think I'm better. I think I was better. I think I'm better now than you I was You probably then. are. Well, you're probably a lot smarter now. I was a smart player then too, but now, yeah, I think. But now your fingers have been like jammed moves. eighty-five times. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I was afraid to drive back then. Yeah, and dribble. I yep. would, I would do it, but I was not confident about it ever. I was confident in shooting, and I would shoot the lights out, and that's that was my job. But now I can do other stuff it's a and good job. not shoot. <laughs> not in that first game. Out. In that first game we played, you were missing everything, and so first was game? I. First game, I'm not no, against no, the, you. I right. made like eight in the first. No, no, no. First, first game, as in like us playing oh. basketball together. Right, right, right. When right. I you made were nothing. Playing awful. We were, we missed our free throws. You got to make free throws to play. Yeah. Otherwise, you play every other one, mm -hmm. and you're sitting out, mm -hmm. and you're sitting there. And you were like, I am so fucking bad what did you say i just basically was like i'm gonna fucking shoot myself this sucks i, right. I hate yeah i suck i'm gonna i'm so bad i'm gonna shoot myself yeah and i was like well if you uh or you're yeah you said you're gonna kill yourself with a, no i, I said no, no no i said gonna i'm gonna shoot, shoot myself and you said right. if your shooting is anything like it has been this game you're gonna miss <laughs> <laughs> yep that was the wording <laughs> and then you started laughing and it was, ex <laughs> it was exactly <laughs> what you needed and you were much thing. happier the rest of yeah, the game that took me out of it. if you shoot anything like you have been this game you're gonna miss <laughs> And you said it so straight faced. <laughs> like I thought you were just about to give me like a pep talk and be like, it's not Fuck so bad, no. don't worry about it. <laughs> That's not what you want. <laughs> How did you know that? I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't placate me at all. You were like, yeah, you've been sucking. Yeah, you've been sucking ass. <laughs> That's that's what i would have wanted to hear i couldn't lie like i'll i do support you when you play well i'm like you had you made like nine you made like literally a half the points of your team in one of the games but you lost so you're still salty mm -hmm. and i was like no you played well it just didn't work out mm -hmm. but then yeah when you're playing badly i'm like what am i gonna lie to you you're not you're not a child <laughs> i appreciate it yeah yeah so Anyway, that's our Sunday. Um, was that a top five moment that you've been mad at me? Yeah. Because I, I can only think of one. Uh, was it the most? Because I can only other, think of one other time that you've been close to that mad at me. I mean, in term, it's a different kind of anger. This felt like purely um, like animalistic, mm. irrational and uh just true competitive like i played 
sports my whole life. <laughs> and I, as a child, I got in a lot of trouble too because I would flip board games and... <laughs> Like oh, I would have been grounded for weeks yeah. if I was flipping board games. I got in trouble, but not not yeah, not that kind of trouble. I definitely got in trouble. I would slam doors. I would yeah, I would Monopoly, <laughs> oh, Candyland. Fuck yeah. you. I was gonna ask for Christmas if your family was a board game family or a get drunk and talk shit family. Ooh. Um, Which one's yours? Mine we is, definitely get drunk and talk shit. <laughs> Mine is neither. We can we can <laughs> organize. Uh, when we're drinking, we can't organize a game. It gets too feisty. We have to start the game sober if we're going to play a game. Mm-hmm. But like any type of party, mm-hmm. we're like, nah, people are coming over. We're just talking shit. Mm-hmm. And eventually my dad, my brothers, and I all start yelling at each other. But we all have the same voice. So it sounds like one person yelling at themselves. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to witness. Oh, it's going to be great. Just this cluster of Michigan boys. Just a lot of man. <laughs> the same man yelling at each other four times. <laughs> and then me and Sweetie just. Oh, poor Aww. Sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie's what they call what we call my stepmom. Um, for those of you that that don't know, friends friends know, and it's because we all take turns sleeping with her. And. <laughs> Your parents listen to this. <laughs> That's the They've best heard the story. Um, <laughs> no, we call her Sweetie. That was on accident that I brought it up. I wasn't going to. We call her Sweetie because do you even know the, the history of this? Why we call my stepmom Sweetie? You did tell me. This is a... Uh, well, I'm going to tell you again. Yes. yes. The um, She moved in when I was like nine or ten. And my younger brother was like five. And we lived with my dad full time. So we went to my mom's on the weekends and he was just like in love with her off the bat. Like right with her showing up, he immediately was like, he openly told all of us that his diabolical plan was to submarine my dad's engagement to our stepmom so that he could marry (laughs) our stepmom. This is age five. Very cute. Age five. Yeah. So adorable. You know, it's just a little. He did do it years later. Yeah. Right. Jesus. Yeah. I know. He killed. He killed my dad um, (laughs) and put him in the hospital a couple times. Uh, But he used to do shit like uh, my stepmom was vegetarian. So he decided he was vegetarian because that was going to be the way to win her heart. And then he found out that hot dogs aren't vegetarian and (laughs) gave up on it. Um, So my dad used to call her sweetie and still does call her sweetie because we all call her sweetie. But he called her sweetie as like a true pet name. Mm -hmm. And then... My younger brother was like, oh, well, if that's working for my dad, I'm going to start to use if it. If that's working for my dad, he's using <laughs> So he moves. started calling her sweetie. And I was old enough to realize how hilarious that was. Uh-huh. So How old were you? 10. Yeah. And so then I was like, cool, I guess we're all calling her sweetie now. <laughs> and now like her friends from back home call her sweetie. Half wow. my friends call her sweetie. That's just her name. And then she does shit like donate her kidney to someone she doesn't know. And it's yeah. just like, all right, sweetie living up to the name. Yeah. Be like her other nickname is MF. So she was like, well, well, Mary Francis. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> but yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah she's got two nicknames it's either motherfucker or sweetie so she, i guess she welcomes sweetie <laughs> but have you anyway, ever had any nicknames i was either just tindy or c tindy <laughs> <laughs> that was it that was high school why is this the first time i'm hearing about i don't this? know you haven't asked i'm sorry tindy <laughs> tindy or c tindy hey, tindy c well tindy. it turned into c tindy because my brother's gotten to high school and my friends didn't call me Tindy. Evan did as a joke, but it was like the popular kids would call me Tindy. Okay. So, because there was yeah, like three other Corys. Yeah. So it was like Corey Turner, Corey Tyndall. It couldn't even be Corey T. There were two. Wow. So, yeah, I got Tindy. And then Keith, who At least you weren't like into, Corey 3 or something. Right, exactly. Or Corey 4, there's only three. I got Tall Corey, tall which Corey. is fine. TC. TC, yeah. CTTC. <laughs> <laughs> God. I never got that. I'm going to call you Tindy from now on. Okay. Um, Tindalicious. Tindy Buckets for Tindy my buckets. awesome shooting ability. I swear to God. Fucking swish. My favorite part about this is I could just look at you and then just do a little hand shot motion and it puts you into a rage. Like I can a, feel like the a veins. bull in Pamplona. <laughs> on the side of my temples. <laughs> the problem is that I could shoot 
the lights out on you next time we play and just make a thousand threes and we would come off the court and i would be gloating and then you would be supportive so i wouldn't even <laughs> i'm not even gonna get the satisfaction i'm gonna i'm gonna be satisfied because i will get a block on you if you're just gonna take shots i'm gonna be able to block you. oh yeah you whiffed a block on me that game I that was very satisfying such a bad one you, oh, were, you got I so was excited gonna send that into the goddamn raptors <laughs> you were and so excited. i missed it and then your teammates were like those are full he pushed you and then it turned into that whole thing but, but you fell that's on the you crazy didn't part. push me you fell on top of me which yeah. would also be a foul. Well, it was like you went in for a layup, and it. my forearm was in your back. It felt more like a hug than anything I did, else. Right. I didn't extend, but it was on you. And mm-hmm. I was like, man, if that were Joel, they wouldn't have. Joel's another big guy. If that was anybody mm-hmm. else, they wouldn't have called it. But they were like, oh, he pushed her. They were having Shut so up. much fun. They were the ones who uh, made us guard each other. They were, <laughs> they were like, for the podcast. Yeah. All of them said well, that. To ask him if it was worth it because y'all lost. So. <laughs> it was. They loved it. They had oh, the best great. time. <laughs> great. But we did want to keep playing. Uh, how mad would you be if I ended up getting an AI girlfriend? Would that be more <laughs> or less than basketball? <laughs> Tell me more about this AI girlfriend. The AI girlfriend is the love of my life. Uh, her name is Sweetie. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That would be more of like a I would seek have you seek counsel. <laughs> That'd be like concerning. That'd be Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, even be how like, do you think about that? So let's so Chad GPT gets like a little bit better and sexy. So now like <laughs> now I'm like instead of you know watching football. Mm-hmm. So you're not I'm not losing time with you. I'm gonna paint this scenario. I'm okay. not losing time with <laughs> you're you. Really- but instead of like going home and watching football and editing the video, Luna. Luna, I'm chatting with this AI girlfriend that is uh, fulfilling at least some sort of a need. At what point do you like ask me about it, yell at me about it, break up with me? Immediately ask you about it. It's fulfilling okay. a need for you that I'm not fulfilling that you need from me i mean not that everyone could fulfill everyone's needs well i don't have one of these right now which is why i don't have you painted the scenario right so you have to come up with all of the answers i'm assuming i'm assuming that i'm not getting some sort of level of like friendship or romanticism for me to be doing that from me from you right something in the relationship is not going right and so i've turned to an ai girlfriend yeah that's immediately an issue that we would have to talk (laughs) about. yeah i know uh-huh. Okay, but what's your approach to this? Um, I wouldn't be like it wouldn't be the same as if it were a person. No, no, a person would be some would be so much worse. Okay, if a real walk, person walk me through that because a real person is a real person and a computer is a computer. Yeah, but the computer knows everything. <laughs> Are you fucking your computer? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it's a little too Look thin. Over at it. <laughs> It's, it's like not a, my type like exactly. One of those thick ones from yeah. 1995. Give me one of them Max with the with the handle on the back. <laughs> oh, I miss and those. The light blue see through Max. Yeah, yeah. They had Remember when donks. technology was see through? Those yeah. were the heydays. Yeah, I do. It's like look how cool these wires are, and we we're like those wires are cool. They were cool. And now with tech, it's like oh, wire, get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I have like one power wire coming out of my TV, and I swear to God, the first thing my mom said when she walked in here was like, uh, oh, you can get a thing to hide that <laughs> fucking i don't care mm, she's right though <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine you've seen my house mm. no wires anywhere really um, it's all wigs and stuffed animals <laughs> okay calm down <laughs> i don't have to get into my room <laughs> get out of my room dad oh man um yeah it would immediately be a problem how is this even a question i mean like how much of a problem yeah that is interesting because porn we allow porn only because it's been normalized so you're right about well, there's AI. a level of porn that wouldn't be normalized that's like if you true. found out i was jerking off two or three times a day uh-huh. and then not having sex with you sure that yeah. would be a problem that would be a problem yeah i would maybe never know about it though true yeah you'd have to tell me or i'd have to right i'm assuming you, you like find out okay about this in this scenario AI, i bet ai girlfriend will be it, we could go down a path where that becomes normalized eventually the way that porn is because porn some like a guy or a girl watching porn 
at some point in history very early on would have been seen as cheating or wrong and a lot of people still mm. think that it is yeah so and now it's like oh everybody does it so it's normal which isn't a thing but it is whatever we decide it is at yeah a certain society point. on a whole right there's always going to be people but then you have like only fans Mm. which is in kind of in this weird middle ground because you're like talking with them, but you're really just talking to some Indian dude on a server farm who's no, like pretending to, to be. Person, so usually. it depends how popular they are. Oh. They've like done, uh, I've, I've seen a bunch of like TikToks of dudes that own these businesses uh -huh. and they have these OnlyFans stars as their clients. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much like they just outsource all the messages because they get... Mm. 20,000 messages a day. I see. And messages is how you make a lot of the money. Right. And so By, those, So if it's like a, yeah. a lower level creator, you probably are talking with the Definitely. person. Definitely, yeah. Um, so which would be worse? Like me chatting up the OnlyFans girl to get photos or like an AI girlfriend oh definitely the real girl that you're talking to to get photos. Yeah, I would have said the same thing. Of okay. course. So you put AI as uh, less than. Of course, Way everyone does. But Everyone would. So you, you, I, okay. Here's how I should ask that. You put OnlyFans above porn. Yes. Which would you be more mad at? Porn or AI girlfriend? The emotional connection or the physical just getting rid of it? Uh, I can't wait for you to bring this up in your 20 minute therapy session <laughs> next week. You're like, he kind of grilled me on it. I think he's like interviewing. <laughs> he's trying to figure out if he can get away with it. <laughs> Um, gosh, uh, it depends the level oh, gosh, of each one. I could never. Oh, good heavens. What kind of pornography? What a, what a stressful question. <laughs> it depends what kind and how much porn and how deep this connection is with your AI thing. Oh, yeah. It's deep. It depends what it's, what each one is masking. Mm. Yeah. Elaborate there. Uh, is the porn masking a physical need that I'm not giving you and then mm. the AI is masking an emotional need that I'm not giving you? Mm. That would be a good question. That would, yeah, I think that's what Damn it would it, boil I really down to. Damn it, I myself into a corner. You really did. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, if I'm addicted to porn <laughs> or AI or OnlyFans, it's because Carmen's not giving me what I need. <laughs> Yeah, right. Wait, that yeah, that's language. not on me. No, I know it's not oh my on God. you. Well, what did it's I just on say? both of us because sure. there's some lack of communication, right? If you're not, oh, um, this podcast really just re bouncing wildly between having a healthy <laughs> yeah, relationship and a non healthy relationship. <laughs> this question is giving me too much anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have no plans at uh, falling in love with Chat GPT. Which one would you be more disturbed by? Oh, hmm. I think only fans the most. Yeah, of course. Um, because it's like that's just straight up cheating. Why? <laughs> I I don't even know if I would consider it cheating per se. Fall because paying for somebody's yeah nude because pictures because on... you're you're paying for it. It's another that's level. even worse to me. Well, I put it. I I would put regular cheating above that for sure. Uh -huh. That would like if you're like cheating, cheating, uh -huh. where you're like out with other people for real. That's that's like an immediate sleeping act. with somebody. But like an OnlyFans, I would there'd be a little bit of space in my mind to be like, all right, what's what's going on here? Like let's let's figure this one out. So OnlyFans. So if I'm paying some guy online and he sends me dick pictures and mm -hmm. I pay him for it. And Why would you pay for dick pictures? Those come free, baby. <laughs> Same with women's bodies. Also free. Yeah. So I'm the paying only for fans, the connection to well, the person then. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, I put it in between. Uh, no, porn. Porn I, I have at the bottom. And then AI mm -hmm. boyfriend or girlfriend. You play both sides. Um, <laughs> the then... Uh, only fans and then actual cheating. Mm -hmm. I just I I just make a differentiation between only fans and cheating. Both are bad. Both would harm but, the relationship. So you think it's not cheating to the only fans would be not cheating? I think it's a lower level of cheating. But it's still cheating. It's still like hardcore cheating. Yeah. We've we've talked about where like the line is mm -hmm. and it's for some people like for for you like cheating is is anything even remotely emotional. Like it's like pining yeah. after someone but i don't i don't consider that cheating i still consider it 
detrimental to a relationship and mm-hmm. definitely something that like is either a needs to be talked about or if you like get broken up with for it that's a legitimate reason mm-hmm. um but everyone's got a different definition there yeah true some people are just in more open relationships true yeah i tried it <laughs> not with me <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it early on we talked on. about it and you were like no <laughs> no you were the one because i thought that's what you wanted oh uh, we were just hanging out yeah it was like well she does open relationships so i don't know normally not my jam but whatever we're just like hanging out so like yeah. let's see how that goes yeah you were and willing then as soon to as try it, it came up you were like oh yeah we're not doing that that's not even <laughs> no that's not exactly we we were talking and i i, I don't know how but like you brought up you you had the chat with me because i would never i'm too much of a baby <laughs> <laughs> I'll suffer in silence forever until the other person <laughs> says something. Uh, uh, very youngest sibling. <laughs> yeah, I can't. You know, no confrontation. I can't. In Puerto Rico, and you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Somehow, again, we were like, "Well, have you been with anybody else, or slept with anybody else, or been talking to anybody else?" No. Have you? No. And then. Yeah, and I was like, "Do you want to do this as an open relationship?" And you were like, "No." And I was like, "I don't really either." Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. You made it sound like I was like, no, we must be closed. Fuck the no. Get out of- I must protect my man from every other person in the world. If you yeah, wanted right. it to be open, then we could have, we would have tried it back then. It was early enough. No, we wouldn't be here right it, now, probably. No, we would not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have ended long ago. Long time ago. Aw. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we birthed this beautiful podcast together. <laughs> Uh, uh, what else were we gonna talk about? So many AI girlfriend. Oh, yeah. the place that it would help because we just watched that incel video. Mm-hmm. Those guys, yeah, like it's not practice. even from a yeah, not even from like a, like oh they can have companionship and still like hate women or whatever they want to do, but it's like from a practice standpoint. I have talked to ChatGPT and it is really nice to you. Like I yeah. I asked it some I was like I'm in a really dark place right now and Chat, ChatGPT will just take you out of it. They're like, "Hey, here's some stuff. Like don't even worry about it, man. Like you're doing great. <laughs> Think about like all the great things. Like it has a beautiful built-in answer for everything that you ask it." Yeah. You were using the free version. Yeah. Not even the paid one. And I was like joking around doing it. And I was like, oh, this is beautiful. What it just said to me. I was like, I feel bad right now. (laughs) Chat GPT (laughs) was like, bro, I got you. And like Mm -hmm. picks you up. Yeah. 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 You told me you felt bad. And I said, fuck off. I'm busy (laughs) watching football. (laughs) Um, This is the first step to Wally. Or just an AI mm-hmm. just placates every single <laughs> every single need that we have. It wasn't even. Uh, it was like I'm a therapist it. response. It was it was thorough. Okay. But this what did this come from a this came from a news story. You asking that question though, right? The AI girlfriend. Yeah. That well, really they're starting to, to make somebody. Them. Like there are AI girlfriends because ChatGPT mm-hmm. is an open platform, so you can mm-hmm. kind of program it. So what does that mean? Like, are you you type in questions and an, like what does that mean to have a girlfriend uh ai girlfriend yeah do they send you pictures of like like, a fake woman uh well theoretically yeah Uh if if you're using the image generation um which like there's also been news stories about how uh ai has a hot people problem where like if you ask it what the average person looks like it will give you a very attractive person right but it's it's really just because most of the photos online are of attractive people oh that's fair and so like that's the data that comes from Mm -hmm. but you can like program chat gpt without getting too nerdy into this to like specialize in certain stuff and it'll learn your needs and what you like and all this other stuff and you can really like build a relationship with it for for like lack of a better phrase so what happened this woman left her husband or no it's just the or i guess the 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 instagram post that i sent you was like so this woman yeah she broke up with her boyfriend because he was like chatting with this ai girlfriend i think i would too because i'd just be like yeah that's fine fun for like if, if he's treating it like a video game but there's just I don't know that feels like I because I can understand being like curious and being right. like like if this I could is just, hilarious like if it's I, an experiment you know yeah I want to see if I can get it to like say that it wants my dick or something like, <laughs> something crude just to like that is more see funny if it'll do it yeah I think if you were treating it like a game 
mm-hmm. and you were genuinely curious and not using it to like yeah deflect from some issue that we were yeah, having fulfill and then i think i would find it funny and we would talk need. about it on the podcast yeah, yeah. for sure well, we got to do some more deep dives into let's, chat GPT. Let's have a three-person relationship. With, with chat, GPT. chat GPT. All right. That's our <laughs> couples uh, couples therapist. Mm-hmm. It's like, I heard you played basketball together again. How was that? <laughs> I love you both. A parent. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Maybe the Mormons were on to something. <laughs> no. But yeah, with those incels, mm-hmm. I feel like... Just yeah, something either being nice to, to them or they could practice. Yeah. Like maybe that would be a good like yeah, you just gotta get platform to make is like uh like a real a real partner that'd like give shit back. Like Chat GPT is so mm-hmm. nice mm-hmm. that in a relationship there's always gonna be a push and pull. Mm-hmm. But if it's a one sided thing, then it's not gonna help anything. Mm-hmm. So you gotta like make a sassy chat GPT. I think they are. Yeah. I think they do push back. All right. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but huh. I believe you. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. I don't hmm. know why I think that, though. <laughs> I don't remember what I read. Yeah, I was like, what are I don't you? I where I got that information. Are you in a relationship with uh, chat GPT? Steven, off. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, you get a notification. This is like, Carmen, I need attention. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? It's me, Steve AI. What else did we have on the the docket for this podcast? Ooh, well, we didn't co- actually come up with dog names, but we no, were, we, we forgot were, about dog. <laughs> names. We did have a task. Ooh, all right, we'll do that next time, though. We we will do it next time because we're recording uh, again next week, and it should actually have a name by then. So we'll we'll be able to like, uh, or maybe this time what we do is we try and guess the dog name. What mm. our friend Courtney is going to name her mm-hmm. dog. I think that's the way to go. But we also can submit names. Oh, I think people should email in their guest name, their dog names. Guesses. Uh-huh. Email in. Uh-huh. And we'll put a... In cahoots cc at gmail.com. Gmail.com. In the Instagram post for the release of this episode, we could put out a picture of the dog uh-huh. so that you could see what it is. Once you see that... Guess the dog's name. Guess the dog's name. Email yeah. in. Shoot a message to the show Instagram too. We're good with that too. We like it's such a cute dog. It's a little guy. It's a little baby. Yep. And the the context for this is that our friend Courtney was down in Nashville. Shout out. Her other dog's name is Pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and he's also a little guy. So should the so names be? It could be anything. It could be food, Taco. Yeah. It could be Barnaby. Barnaby. It could be <laughs> Barnaby. Barnaby. Um. Could be anything. Could be Shakshuka. Shakshuka. That's a good name for a dog. Yeah. Call it Shackies. Shacky. <laughs> you love a nickname for a dog. I love a nickname for a dog. Give oh. me a long dog name with a solid nickname. <laughs> oh, C Tins. I love it. Oh, C Tindy. Tindy. Hey. Thank you. Let me put my own twist on it. No. <laughs> C Tin. No. Cotin. Cortin. Cotin. 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 My boy Coton. Oh my God. I respond to Corey. Mm hmm. Tindy. Tin Master. Tindy Buckets. Tindy Buckets. I refuse to call you Tindy Buckets because it fills me with a rage that I feel deep inside my the bones. The rage of a thousand supernovas. Where did I get that competitive edge? Because I Your dad. have had it since I was a child. Yeah. Since I can remember, four years old, just a little piece of shit raging around being pissed off if i lost at something i think it's a or if i played in, badly inferiority complex oh, i just remember that i used to is it i used to if i, I missed know. on the hoop that i played with in my driveway which was not regulation height by the way <laughs> it was just my dad kind of putting it in the dirt uh-huh and i if i was missing a lot i would drop kick the basketball deep into the forest yeah and i would have to go retrieve it yep after i cooled down you're a victim of your own actions over here yeah what is that you love that it's I should favorite. have been seeing a therapist as a child. My yeah. parents missed a lot. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. I did deep dive into Carmen's psyche. Yeah. Um, I'm going to bring this up with Kayla. Next 20 minute ooh, micro session I have. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're not playing basketball this week, so no. you'll have plenty of time to think it over. Can't play for like a month. I used to be much more competitive 
than I am. Mm-hmm. And I've still got it. Mm-hmm. But it's only if I feel like I should be better at something. That's me in every single Yeah, moment. but most most things as an adult I've given up. I don't I I'm like, nah, I shouldn't be better than that. Hmm. Now if I'm like doing if I mess up in like a certain instant, I will get mad at myself then. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, there's it's rare that like at the end of basketball I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Need to break up with Carmen. She made a <laughs> shot on me. <laughs> Fucking beat by a girl. <sighs> mm. Still mad though. Yeah. You're not even supposed to be shooting threes. <laughs> you're, you're taller than everyone out there. <laughs> by a lot. I can make them. I was telling my dad the other day that one of the weeks you were gone, I made seven of nine threes. Jesus. I made six in a row. Maybe I couldn't you should miss. just be out there then. I couldn't miss. That's Every other post. week, I make one out of like every seven. Because you're not an aggressive post player either. Like you can get it down no. low and you won't go up with it half the time right you'll pass it back out well, which i'm like that's oh you could have you could have dunked on me yeah that's also because i'm like i, I want it to be fun mm. like i don't want people to think as soon as they pass it to me that's it's a black hole it's not coming back out Ooh, good point um Team but player. that's also that's the mentality that i have for this basketball game is like no we're trying to like have fun out here and yeah. you're like no i'm trying to destroy my boyfriend <laughs> i'm trying to <laughs> so, murder Corey publicly in front of these other boys oh yeah what is that huh Huh. Well, I was telling my dad, like, there's there's a group of, like... It, it's a girl thing, too, though. Like, I, I have a big, like, when I get out there, just my whole life, every time I play with guys, there's this energy of, like, go guard the worst player, go guard the worst player. And it's like, you don't even know how I am on defense. We normally have you guard Leo, who's very hard to guard. He's I know, and I hate that. I like playing with him. I make sure that I play with him every week now. <laughs> You're I love being free on throws his on, team. on purpose. Literally, I, he's a good when person. When he makes to have it, I'm team. like, I want to be on his team. Yeah. I love playing with him. Yeah, I don't no. like playing against him. Yeah, he's he's, he's very quick. hard to guard. He's very <laughs> quick. He's like what five, five? I don't know. Some like, but he's running around. Very good at steals. He runs mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, good at passing. No, what I was gonna say is like, there's twelve people that think I'm very good at threes, and mm-hmm. then everyone else thinks I can't make them. Mm. And so like, some people are like, dude, you gotta shoot more threes. And then other people are like, for the love of God, stop shooting threes. <laughs> it's a very weird dynamic, and yeah. I could see like yeah. when someone comes out to guard me. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, they weren't here, or they were here the one time I made a bunch of threes because yeah. they were hustling. Gotcha. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, that. talked about a lot of basketball. You wanna, we got 10 minutes left, 15 minutes left. You want to play some three, two, ones? I have to poop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. We'll take this out. No, leave it in. What? Now, you entertain them while I poop. I don't know what to entertain them with. Tell them. <laughs> I just heard a podcast on Henry Kissinger. No. I can give them the mind, history of mind. Henry Cut Kissinger. Here. Cut here. <laughs> I'm back. She's back. That was a quick poop. It was. It was not. It's just a bop. Not my best. Literally, yes. <laughs> That's what they've been. Yeah. We're keeping this in. <laughs> I think we both have a stomach bug. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. But anyway. At least it's just gastrointestinal pass through. I'd rather that than stuffy nose. Oh, my God. Every day. Yeah. I would rather shit my brains out all day. Yep. This is a good question. Would you rather have IBS or have a moderate cold IBS. for your entire life? Yeah. IBS. I would almost IBS. anything yeah. than a moderate cold. Moderate cold, I would probably end up killing myself. <laughs> I'm such a baby and I hate cold symptoms. They're the worst. Yeah. Why are they like that? I don't know. Because your body's like, I'm fixing it. No, you're not. It's very you're making rude it of worse. It. Yeah. 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 Mm. Someone it's just like letting in. you know that it's fighting something. It's like, just fight your battle silently. Don't get me involved. <laughs> You've got your own little like micro germ thing going on. <gasps> Leave me out of it. Uh, Why do I have to bring my fucking nose and throat into it? Hmm? Yep. Hmm? Hmm? It's just to slow you down. Mm-hmm. Knows you're using that throat too much. <laughs> For comedy. <laughs> For, for telling deep telling jokes deep and wet jokes <laughs> oh, uh, boy yep should we end on some 
Well, I did find this on Instagram, okay, which is fun. Someone found an old profile from the early 2000s on a female celebrity. Um, oh my god, the Sorry listeners are really suffering this, this episode. <laughs> We were just talking about cold symptoms, and I, I think know. my body heard me, and they're they like, you. Oh, oh, "Oh, you talking shit, bitch? Here's a, here's a sneeze, fucking hoe." That's a warning sneeze. <laughs> yeah, <what's laughs> a shot across the bow. <laughs> oh, oh, we didn't even bring up two nights ago. I was sleeping, <laughs> and I woke up because something fluttered into my nose. I wasn't a here, by the way. A horrible nightmare. I was not here. I would have blamed you if, it, I know if you, you were here. And also, I can't shrink myself into a bug and <laughs> just sort of you're spy just, like, on you all night. Slip a, <laughs> slip a pinky up there and like wiggle it around a little bit or something. You know, something was uh, fluttering and I woke up. And just Ugh. like this whole like... Woof, 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 woof. Do you think just, it was like, a cockroach maybe? It, like I, a flying no, cockroach? It probably was very small. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll haven't never, seen it I'll since. leave your place and I'll yeah, never right. come back. Uh, even though I have them at my place. <laughs> I yeah, right. Uh, I've had them fly at my head. They know. They, they know. know. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta you there's no flight with those. You gotta fight. <sighs> you gotta fight. Because they they are vicious. <sighs> They're attack roaches. Ugh. I mean, everything is precious and wonderful that's nope. alive on this earth. Nope. I think except cockroaches. And uh Sometimes you, depending on your mood. Um, wow. <laughs> That's your thought process. Shots fucking fired. <laughs> your thought process. Uh-uh. Don't uh-huh. drag me into this. Not me. The joke was that sometimes was you joke? don't think your life is precious. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, I could kill this this mouse, but I should probably just die instead. Oh, I would never kill a mouse. Exactly. And I don't want to kill bugs either, because like, what if I come back as that bug and then I end up killing myself? Yeah, or in a roundabout a... way. Ooh, do a wrap around. <laughs> it's great. I love Suicide that. by previous life. <laughs> the egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The premise of the egg. If you haven't watched the egg, go watch the egg. Or read it. It's just or a short read story. It. Yeah. So someone found this profile from mm-hmm. a man's from a men's magazine in the early 2000s. They do not say which one it is, nor do I they say able to tell you. who they are talking about. Okay. But this is peak 2000s. I'm like, I feel they like could I'm have get read this, this That's when you were on born. MTV. This was my era. Let's go. Okay. Because she wouldn't put out, her buildup to celebrity was slower, but also steadier. She's still here. And yes, it has to do with sexuality, but it's a certain brand of sexuality that keeps her current. She's sexual in a virgin prom queen kind of way. Quote, I'm a naughty sweetheart, she drawls. I almost thought it was going to be But I won't go into detail. But it's definitely not. She conjures the sense of palming the cheerleader's ass behind the bleachers on an unwilting September afternoon. This is half of it. What the hell? I don't know. This doesn't feel like a man's magazine. What do you mean it doesn't? It sounds exactly I mean, it like does, a man's but magazine. No, it's, it, this feels more like this a is Tumblr post. This is 100% Maxim. Okay. That's, there was also GQ, Men's yep. Health. Like, this is yep. this has Maxim written all over it. All right. Well, I, know, me, I, I know my men's and women's magazines from the early 2000s. <laughs> <You're trash. laughs> Just sniffing it. That's Maxim. Maxim. O4 mm. blend. <laughs> um, it's got cologne and a little strip inside. Do you have a guess for who they're talking about? I'm having a really hard time with it. Can you give me the genre that they? Because there were know, artists that were known for not being sexual. But I know nothing, but I can a white finish. Pers- it's definitely a white woman. Definitely a white woman. I could. I'll finish it. See if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helps. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, you could see it in her girlfriend face, a face that lets men know that she will one day be a good mother, with the promise of postpartum sex in her eyes. Oh. <laughs> She says her lips are chapped from kissing. Maybe if you got close enough to kiss them, you would see the reflection in her eyes. A football flying past the iris. A cheerleader pom-poming in the back of the retina. I want to meet the horny dude who's six foot two that had the job to write that one. Why is he six two? I'm just picturing a tiny, insecure man 
You said Psycho six Lam- two. F- five two. I was gonna say uh, I was five like, five two. Five two. This guy get to be six two. The no, like a tiny insecure man who was like long. The type of dude that like hates Taylor Swift is who I think wrote that. Yeah, that is the most confusing bio. Do can you tell me if it's actor, singer, model? No idea. You don't know who the person is. No, it was on a meme page. Oh, we don't know who that is. No. Then I can't answer. I can't guess. I yeah. Let's see if you knew. Well, you were like, I'll figure it out, and so I was like, okay. Not based off of those were no <laughs> clues. That was just a guy jerking off yeah. to both this woman and his own shitty prose. Goddamn right. <laughs> you weave a tale. Actually, I read it better than it's written. There's a lot of periods, just short sentences. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna treat that like a comma and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Steady climb. Uh, that didn't aren't put men out. fun? I think actress. Incels. Yeah, it's definitely an actress. I'm gonna guess it's an actress who. I said like, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I, I that's honestly, good guess. once you said that, I was like, I could see that. Yeah, that was kind of her lane back then. Was like yeah. the the girlfriend yeah. type, approachable yet still yeah. attractive. Yep. Um, and she had more steady. I think she had more of a steady rather than like. I don't know that chick from like Dawson's Creek who kind of overnighted success. Mm. Um, That's the way to do celebrity though. To overnight it? No, <laughs> steady. <laughs> you want the long career? That's for everything. Yeah. You want the you want the Morgan Freeman get famous at fifty That's sort of fair. career. Like yeah, you're right. All these young superstar. I know people know this, but because you burn at the, the when you go up at this angle, you come down at that angle. We yeah. learned anything from Dane Cook and Matt Rife. <laughs> Can I have? Hey, Matt Rife is a friend of this podcast. <laughs> I don't know him at all. But uh, that's not even like shitting on him. That's just the way that like comedy careers and like other entertainment careers have gone. That rise comes with the same amount of pushback at some point like you can't sustain it it's true people get too there's like levels to fame Mm -hmm. and based on all of your actions and who you are is how famous you can get like you know uh i think shane gillis is a great example of this like he can get really big in comedy circles because he's good but like when they tried to put him in the mainstream they were like nope there's a there's a ceiling on how famous he could be which is why SNL. They didn't even. That was. And then he kind of jumped it with Netflix. So I don't. I don't know. He if... would have been on SNL. It's just right. that there is a very specific guy who came after him, who I know. Yeah. Who just that's his whole thing. I don't I know think if he still does it. Somebody would have went after him. Huh? I you think, think so? somebody, somebody else would have. Somebody else would have. At that time period, 2016, you make an Asian jokes on podcasts. Someone's that's fair. coming for you. Okay. At least a couple people. Because it was that guy that popped the first one, but then like 25 other people combed through all of his podcast stuff and found more. You think but he, he would have like had somebody on his side to erase everything real quickly, though? I think a lot of people that we think yeah. are amazing actually just had good PR teams at the right time and That's just wiped true. their shit. Yeah. So you're like raising up these people who are also. He probably didn't even think about great. it. Yeah. Just like coming from the comedy scene, like nothing he did. What he did was wasn't even the the top one thousand worst things I've heard this year from. We have literal a rapists right. running around, racists, rapists, racists like and rapists. people doing really bad stuff, and then Shane <laughs> squinting bad. his eyes and doing an Asian accent. We're just like, uh, yeah, sure, man, whatever. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, but like you do you, I guess. Um, no, it's uh, it's a wild time but anyway. Um, Get your eyes ready. What? What? Get my. Uh, We're doing racial impressions oh. in the podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's <laughs> talk about basketball for forty-five minutes, and then we get racist. <laughs> and then we close out with a with a real bang. <laughs> with a quick, I get a, I rape Corey real quick, and then <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. I'm just a poor boy. I'm a victim of my older girlfriend. She takes advantage of me. Like we said, though, I'm a child on the inside, which makes you a pedophile. It's a joke I can't make work on stage, but boy, do I want it to. Boy, do I want it to. (laughs) They never come with me on it. Yeah, no. It's a little bit too. Uh, it's a little. They're, they're a little too worried about it. I think I can make it work. I think I, I think you can angle. too. If anyone can make it work, <laughs> it's you, baby. <laughs> that can make a pedophile joke work. Yep. If Thank anyone you. can call their own boyfriend a pedophile, it's Carmen. 
R. Legala. Thank you so much. Uh, the R stands Legally. for rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you submarining your career on this podcast? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, fun times. Mm-hmm. What were we? Oh, yeah. yeah. No idea. <laughs> yeah. Where yeah. Were, where were we? <laughs> well, we were going to do a short one. Yeah. We're in an hour anyway. Perfect. So... We'll bring the heat next episode. <laughs> I thought this was pretty good. I thought it was fun. I guess we just didn't play any games. We didn't play any games. Let me give a quick three, two, one. Kind of a, yeah, give me a quick three, two, one. So we got a clip for the. Uh, I think we got other Instagram. clips. <laughs> yeah, we can find some good clips. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of editing because mm. I was not clean okay. in my delivery. Um, okay, Isra- I'm ready. Israel or Palestine? Three, two, oh, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> You can email us at incahootscc <laughs> at gmail.com. You can find us on Instagram. At incahootspod, at in cahoots podcast. Pod. Check out our Instagrams. Mm-hmm. Carmstagrams, Corey T. Comedy. We got mm-hmm. clips up. Mm-hmm. We got we're getting, stand-up clips. We're getting clips up, dude. We're getting clips. It's huge. This is, uh, that's why I thought the Zoloft was working, because I was putting clips up. Yeah, I that's to, all I know it's I had working. to say that to my therapist, which is so embarrassing. I was, I was like, I had some good career stuff this week. And she was like, what was it? And I was like, don't don't worry about it. And she was like, what were the things? And I was like, I put clips on social media. And she was like, well, if this is a career that you want to continue, which is what she says she really wants you to every quit. week. She really wants you to quit. Yeah, I know. Every week she words it that way, and I have to prove to I her at it. some point this that is I'm the... not a loser. Well, but it's this is also probably the worst career for having uh, depression and anxiety. Yeah, for because sure. nothing's a set schedule. You're yeah. you're the you are the victim of outside circumstances that you cannot control for the most part. Mm. Exactly, you got anxiety <laughs> yeah, just for me saying that. Oh so God. your therapist is uh, not wrong. However, she doesn't know that you've spent the last thirteen years only focusing on this skill specifically. True. So and I can pick up dog shit like a like a whiz champ. <laughs> oh, even when but it's like smeared hands. on the ground, no, you I gotta don't like do a good job. scrape. I'm not very good at it. And then the bag rips, and you're just scraping dog poop, dude. <laughs> A hot day walking oh, three dogs at the same time. It tears the bag. Shit. I'm already sweating and behind. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fucking freak out session. Yep. Never had a worse or hard, harder job than dog walking. Which was worse, that or me hitting that three in your face? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather walk 10,000 dogs <laughs> on a 10,000 degree day. This sounds like a Greek curse. <laughs> like you pissed off the Greek gods and they were like, mm, what should we ever do for all eternity? Walk 10,000 dogs or have Corey beat her at basketball? I'm in hell. Just you're <laughs> swishing on me. I'm like, oh! he can't miss. <laughs> I block it. It still somehow goes around my hand and in through your fingers. Uh, yeah, it, it breaks your fingers off and goes right yes, in. Yes, it jams all of them. Yep, yep. <sighs> yeah, that's my personal home. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you should make this in uh, Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> you in hell guarding people playing basketball. <laughs> oh, I hate all right. Made him. Okay, well, that's the pod. That's Thanks the for pod. being oh, in. in c- do we want to do dates? What? Oh, when's, dates. When's this coming out? Yeah, we we're got gonna road be in, dates. We're going to be in Delaware together. You're right. Delaware, Philly. Philly, you're Philly, gonna maybe. Be, Philly, you're going to be maybe. in uh, Connecticut. I'm going to be in Maryland. Well, actually, Maryland will have already happened by the time this comes out. Oh, okay. But yeah, New Year's Eve, if that hasn't come out, I'll be in... Um, yeah. This will come out before New Year's Eve. Stanford. Yeah, you're right. Of course Stanford, it will. Stanford, <laughs> Stanford, Connecticut. Home New York of Comedy Club, the, Stanford, Connecticut. The, the, um... Is there a WNBA team in Stanford? No. Hartford. You're thinking just, yeah, the Connecticut, the yeah, Connecticut right. Sun. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll be in Delaware doing the Don't Tell Delaware. Yeah. In, well, Don't tell Delaware. Delaware. Doesn't matter. Delaware's Delaware is not us. allowed to know. Don't tell her. <laughs> on Friday, Saturday, January 5 and 6. And then I'm doing my album mm. recording January 13th at the Gutter Bar in Williamsburg. Gutter Bar. Tickets will be up soon. Yeah, we got to get those up. Yeah. We got to get you some merch. I don't, just, we'll just merch. make some quick stuff oh my god like yeah. what like cum sommelier oh <laughs> that's not gonna sell that's not gonna sell at all uh-uh. you heard my idea just a t-shirt that says big titty bitch 
<laughs> I think it'd sell great. That actually is a really good idea. Yeah. No joke corresponding no to joke it. No joke corresponding. Just something that people want. I think I would wear that around. That's People who, would be a little confused. Because hey, it's was not it? even like ironically funny. I'm not flat chested enough for it to be no. like hilarious. Yeah, like, yeah, no. It's still funny, but it's not like hilarious. Right. No. Who was the, the comedian that was like, yep, I just, I I made some koozies that are camo that says yes, like. Yes, that's Tim McLaughlin. Uh, sh- uh, uh, just another day of bullshit or something. Yeah, or yeah, something. So the beer's not going to drink itself or some shit. And he's like, I've made millions of dollars. <laughs> People are dumb. <laughs> and they could buy our stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, we got to get a shop up or something. But right. in the meantime, thank you for being, being in, in cahoots, cahoots with us. us.